Hi everybody, so today I'm going to run for you our Properties of Assets and Bases lab. Um, so I'm going to start us out here on the conductivity indicator tests and reactivity section. So in my well plate, I have filled up DI water in this first column here. Second column is holding tap water. Third column holds 1.0 molar HCl. Fourth column holds 1.0 molar C6HAO7. Fifth column, 1.0 molar NaOH. And the last column, 0.1 molar NH3. So our very first test that we're gonna do is for conductivity. <clears throat> So I'm going to start off in well one here, and I'm going to place the probes inside each of these and rinse with water in between, and we're going to track conductivity of these substances. So if I put this right into there, into the DI water, hold that up, I see that the lights are not lighting up at all. This means it is not conductive. Next one I'm going to do is the tap water, place that right in there. Both of our light bulbs light up, so highly conductive. I'm gonna rinse now with water before I do the next one. <clears throat> All right, the next one is gonna be one molar HCl, so let's go ahead and put that into there. Both lights light up, very bright, highly conductive, okay. Next one, 1 1.0 molar C6H807. Both lights light up. Next, 1.0 molar NaOH. Both lights light up. And lastly, 0.1 molar NH3. So for this one, you can see that red light bulb, it's really barely illuminated. The green light bulb is not lit at all. Okay, so that's it for our conductivity tests. All right, now we're moving on. We're gonna do, um, <clears throat> The litmus paper test now. So there's two kinds of litmus paper. We have red litmus paper and blue litmus paper. We are going to test each of them. So here's our litmus paper containers. This one's from, God, I don't know, the 1800s it feels like. It's a really old bottle. So I'm gonna take a few strips of our litmus paper out and we're gonna dip one blue and one red into each of these wells and see what color the litmus paper is after we've dunked it into each solution. Okay, go ahead and get my tweezers ready. I'm gonna start with the red litmus paper. Right, so we got red litmus paper going into DI water. Okay. Red litmus paper going into tap water. Red litmus paper going into HCl. Okay. Red litmus paper going into C6HA07. NaOH. And lastly, NH3. Okay. 
Okay. Next up, I am going to do the blue litmus paper test. Okay, so here we go, starting out in water. Water again, this time tap. HCL. It's a little bit difficult to tell on camera for some reason, but you can see two distinct colors there. This is the blue paper. This is now like a pinkish red color. Again, that distinction, blue paper, pinkish red color. Blue stays blue. Last one. Blue stays blue. All right, so that's all for our litmus paper test. Now we are moving on to the phenolphthalein indicator test. So here's our phenolphthalein indicator, clear and colorless to start out. I'm gonna put just a couple drops in each of these first wells. There's our DI. There's our tap, HCL, C6H8O7, and AOH, NH3, Next test, moving on to well two. This time we're gonna do universal indicator. Here's our universal indicator. Starts out as this like bluish green color. I am also going to grab a universal indicator pH scale. put this right underneath here so here are the colors that universal indicator could turn and underneath it is the corresponding pH values so I'm gonna put a couple drops in each of these wells identify the color record that in your data table and then you're also going to indicate the approximate pH based on the color okay Go ahead and make your observations. If you need to pause the video so I can move on to the next test. And now in the third well, we're gonna test the reactivity 
of these different substances with a piece of magnesium metal. <clears throat> so the magnesium metal is coming in these little ribbons right here. I'm just going to take one small piece of it, drop it into each of the wells. Well, hopefully you can hear some of that sizzling, some of that bubbling. Okay, now while that's going, I'm going to move on to the last test, which is our reactivity with calcium carbonate. Here's the calcium carbonate white powder. I'm just going to take one very small scoop. Go ahead and make your observations. Just to make sure you're looking closely. There's no change happening in either of these or either of these. No change happening in either of these or either of these wells. Okay. 